everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Rose and today I'm going to be testing out $100 worth of Korean skincare. So originally I just wanted to get a new sunscreen for my face because the other one looked flaky underneath my makeup. And then I scrolled just a little bit too long on YesStyle to give myself the idea to just give myself a whole routine. I'll get the sunscreen, but I'll also get some makeup remover, I'll get some moisturizer, I'll get some serums. Like, I'm very excited. I've been breaking out a lot recently. Uh, I don't know if it shows up very well on camera. It's always this area of my face. And I haven't made a yes style video in quite some time, but I still do have a code with them. It's KaylaRose17. It'll save you some money on your next purchase. And everything that you see in the video today will be linked down in the description. They are affiliate links. However, that doesn't affect you at all. It just helps me out a little bit. So yeah, with that all being said, let's get into the haul. So I already opened up everything. I'll pop it up on the screen right now of me opening stuff, but I'm very excited. So first up, we have the All Clean Balm, Clean and Comfortable Beauty Intensive Cleansing Balm by Hamish. Daily cleansing for removing heavy makeup easily. Wow! It comes with this little spatula. It smells like a really, really, really toned down version of Vicks Vapor Rub. Next up, we have the special. Next up, we have the special. Next up, we have the special solution Honey Black Sugar Scrub by Mizon. Not the sticker. First impression. <laughs> black sugar particles derived from natural sugar cane effectively remove dead skin cells, blackheads, and whiteheads, leaving a smooth and even complexion. Almost exactly what you picture it to look like. Yeah, this doesn't have a fragrance. Next, we have the Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser, formulated with purifying botanical ingredients. This low pH formula works to soothe, refresh, and soften the skin without stripping the feeling. Why did they put plastic on it? Don't they know I can't open stuff like this? Ooh. Oh god, okay, I don't know what that scent is. I don't like it. Good thing it's not in a candle and I don't have to smell it all the time. It's literally just to wash my face. Next we have the rice toner from I'm From. I'm From rice toner contains the best rice grown in Yeoju. The immaculate rice called Gua Rice delivers clean and clear skin and makes skin smooth so that skin is glowing from the inside of the skin. There's like little leaf detailing. I know it's not really about how it looks, but I love the way this looks. <laughs> next, next, next. Oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion with birch sap by COSRX. Formulated with 70.8% birch sap, Batula platyphylla japonica juice. <laughs> First impression. I love when things have matte finishes on them. I think I'm gonna use it twice a day. So we'll see how well that goes. I finally made it to the one that I actually needed in the first place. It's the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 Plus. Formulated with aloe extract, 55,000 ppm. The sunscreen protects skin against UVA and UVB rays while hydrating skin. This is also by the brand Cos RX. It's a little bit small, but that was to be expected because I read reviews. This one, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. This is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Being 96% snail secretion filtrate, this essence helps the skin to lose less moist while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. This is also by the brand Cos RX. These were only 99 cents, so I got a lot of them. I got face masks. All of these are by the brand Real nature. So I have cucumber, face mask with cucumber extract, hydrating, face mask with mung bean extract, pore care, face mask with green tea extract, hydrating, face mask with rice extract, brightening, face mask with honey extract, moisturizing. And those are all of them. And then I also got two freebies. I got the pink collagen serum and the intensive firming solution collagen power firming enriched cream. I believe I placed this order on the 28th or the 29th of December and it is now the 6th of January. As you can tell, I'm not wearing makeup today so I won't be testing testing out the makeup remover today. I will a different day though. I will be trying out all the other stuff though because I am so excited. I'm gonna pop up on the screen what my skin looks like right now. It's not the worst, however, I am getting pimples that are very painful. Welcome to a new angle. So I did some research in between the last time that I just saw you and found out that you can use the snail essence as like a primer for skincare essentially. I'm gonna be using the cleanser and then I'm going to be using the sugar scrub. Then I'm going to be using the toner and then following it up with the snail essence and lastly going in with the moisturizer. First step, washing your hands. It is the peppermint sugar cookie from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> What I like to do when washing my face is use warm water until the very end and then I use cold water. So I'm gonna set it to warm. I always do my skincare in the shower because I cannot stand when water runs down my arm. Ooh, it comes out clear. Have you ever seen the movie Flubber? That's the texture of this. Upon just using the cleanser, it smells so bad. For me personally, I just cannot stand the smell. I will continue to use it. If you're very sensitive to fragrances, just be wary. So yeah, that does have some scrubby dubbiness to it. Taking about, wow, that looks like, <laughs> that looks like way too much. 
anything, it has like a slight, slight hint of like a sugar smell. Since I'm done with all of the things that I need to rinse off, I'm gonna use cold water. I'm going to use the rice toner, but I'm just gonna put it in my hands. Now we're going to use the snail essence. What did I expect? <laughs> It doesn't smell like anything. Any excess of anything that I use, I just put on the back of my hand. So now for the final step, I'm going to be finally using the moisturizer. And I'm not using the sunscreen today just because I don't plan on going anywhere. The container's not the biggest, so I plan on saving this for days where I'm actually going to be outside. Look at how much water. Okay, so this is what my face is looking like right now. My face is slightly tacky. Not enough to bother me when it comes to lotions and stuff. I don't really care if my face is sticky. It's mainly if I'm wearing makeup and my face is really tacky and sticky that it bothers me. I don't know. I feel like my face looks a little bit brighter, but that just might be a placebo effect. I will update you along the way on what my skin looks like. I'll also be using the face masks too, so stay tuned. Let's go. I will catch you back here in a couple days. Okay, believe it or not, it actually is a few days later. I think I might be wearing the same exact shirt I was, so anyway. So to get you up to date, I already did the routine this morning and then last night I used the mung bean mask for pores and all that stuff I just chilled out and watched uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit because I love that movie What I did is I put the face mask on after my whole routine minus the moisturizer Then I put the moisturizer on like kind of mixing it with the whatever was in the mask And then I woke up this morning and I noticed that I had like kind of intense blackheads I was like, oh crap, what did I do? But I got in the shower and when I got out I noticed they weren't as prominent or bad I don't know what that was about. This is what my skin's looking like now. All the areas that looked like they were about to break out did end up breaking out. I'm not gonna hold that against the skincare routine at all because those were gonna come out regardless. My face feels so moisturized. It looks so glowy and I'm already feeling like so much better. I want to put on the sunscreen right now because it is the greatest sunscreen ever. I'll show you. A little goes a pretty good way. blends so good into the skin i could scream i can't even tell i put on sunscreen i'm i i'm absolutely baffled because i'm not used to sunscreens just blending into your face like that this is the update for right now i'll come back at you later when i'm doing the makeup remover it's later in the day and it's time to test out the makeup remover i'm gonna be showing you this pull my hair up real quick i always feel like a little ballerina when i have my hair up like this it goes in pretty smoothly it honestly smells like fruit loops Eyes are what's gonna make or break this for me because it's always my eye makeup that doesn't get removed completely. I got it in my eyes, so now my vision is like cloudy. Do not get this in your eye. That was kind of scary. Not a speck of makeup is left on my face. Whoa. I recommend this. Just do not get it in your eye. Like any other product, I don't think you're supposed to get it in your eye. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my routine and then come back for a final thoughts. So I know $100 is pretty steep for skincare. Trust me. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of my favorite products that I got. My number one recommendation by far in this video is definitely the sunscreen because you saw it pretty much just melts into your skin as soon as you start like rubbing it in, which is crazy. This one, I'm just really, really, really impressed impressed by. If you were to get anything that you saw me use, I would definitely recommend this. And the next thing I would definitely recommend is the sugar scrub. Upon first putting it on, it's very rough and really nice to exfoliate, especially around the nose and trouble areas like that. It like melts and then it just glides across your skin. And as soon as I'm done using it, I always feel like my skin is just a little bit brighter. And then last would be the oil-free moisturizer. Once I use this, like it just looks glowy and it also feels nice and moisturized. Those are my top three for sure. And then I've only used it once, but this cleansing balm that gives rid of makeup i'm surprised it really did melt off the makeup my only downside was that i did not like how it made my vision blurry as far as the morning cleanser the toner and then the snail essence i will need a little bit more time with them i mean the cleanser is nice i do feel like my skin is clean afterwards but it's just the smell that's a downside for me and then the face masks it's a face mask <laughs> it feels nice it's refreshing plus it's only 99 cents if you want to try it out i highly recommend it as well i'm really excited to have a new skincare routine because i was in dire need of one so one more time i do have a code with Yes style, Kayla Rose 17. Feel free to use it for a discount on the products. I will have everything linked down below. I know this one's a little bit different than what I normally do, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so, 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 so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.